Hey, Dorothy here, and wanted to give you a quick shout out this evening. Uh, it's a clear evening here in North Texas, and uh, you know, I had a, a reply to one of the emails that I sent out really about catcalling and the ratings game that uh, some men will do for us as, as women. Not that we particularly think of it as. But uh, he would, uh, but it happens, oh, hold on, I've got something goofy going on over here. Hold on, hold on. Okay, there we go, there we go. Technology, we like it when it works. So, a uh, little shout out on, on this, because, you know, I'd written about that. It's really important to kind of get an idea of what's going on there. And uh, catcalling in the ratings game can really have a lot to do with men. Can, it feels like their uh, attention is pegged on us, but very much they are competing with one another for who can be like, you know, get the most reaction out of somebody else. And uh, and they do that to men too. So one of the men had uh, written back uh, to me that... Uh, that while it's not cat calls, they do, uh, you know, verbally uh, say things that are provocations for a fist fight or some kind of fight. And, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's very uncomfortable for, you know, men who think that fighting should be rare and only for cause and not, not for, you know, playing a dominance game. And so uh, just, uh, just remember that that really is, it's a game uh, very often that uh, those men who are doing it are, uh, are competing with one another and it uh, typically just stays at that verbal uh, level and uh, it's kind of like who's controlling the street, so to speak. So um, that's, uh, it's an interesting perspective. If you haven't read uh, Dr. Katz's work, that's Dr. Jackson Katz, you know, his uh, most famous book, uh, is called the Macho Paradox, and it's it's really you know as a as a man who is an ally uh, to women speaking about you know the problem of of violence as being a man's problem uh, is uh, and you know it's not all men at all you know, the statistics are are uh, rather encouraging uh, more than you might think. Uh, even on something as heinous as, as rape. Um, so the statistics are there as, as best we can estimate. And I say we, you know, as, as I'm not estimating. I, I just read those people. And um, uh, But the best estimates are that about 6% of men uh, will commit that heinous crime. And uh, the problem is that, that they don't do it just once, you know, they do it a, kind of a bunch. And so it affects, you know, about a third of women. It affects some men and, you know, even, you know, God forbid the children be bothered with this, but we know it happens. Uh, so uh, I just wanted to give you that quick uh, shout out that it's not, it, it has very little to do with you, which, you know, is, uh, you know, on the one hand, kind of a, a plus and another can kind of dehumanizing at the same time. It's an odd paradox. Uh, but uh, it, it really has to do with those men uh, who are doing these kinds of shout outs and playing that who owns the street game, catcalling and ratings and such, that, uh, that they're, they're competing with one another quite often. And uh, just to see who can get a raise out of, you know, some person on the street. So um, uh, there are advanced moves that uh, in my uh, private one-on-ones I uh, uh, teach, you know, those relatively, thankfully, few women, you know, for how to, uh, how to uh, really, in uh, uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and say it, engage uh, back uh, with those, those groups of men. But, uh, you know, there's a lot to, to learn. Uh, in advance and to practice in advance of doing something like that. Uh, but, uh, but when you can own uh, the, the conversation and really bring it, uh, be your badass self in a, in a huge way, that's, it is an upper level move. So there's a lot more ahead and the, you can get um, a, a lot of free tips that I give out, you know, on a regular basis, answering questions uh, often on throughout the week. 
in our uh, new Facebook group, and that is the 13-second Women's Empowerment uh, with me, your host, Dorothy Goon. So I'm hoping that you will uh, hop on in there, you know, introduce yourself. Oh, uh, you do have to answer three questions to, to get in, to be approved. And uh, because it is a closed group, we want a safe community uh, of primarily women. And we have some men that are in there that are there because uh, they want to be good allies on behalf of their daughters and those kinds of uh, things. And so good men are my heroes. They, they make our lives better in so many ways. And, uh, and I just wanted to make sure that you've got uh, just this little bit uh, since it came up and across my desk and, you know, it's, it is time to share uh, the good strategies that help us keep our sanity in a world where things can go silly sometimes. So have a great evening. Stay warm this winter and uh, uh, I will see you soon on the next video. Bye for now.